husband's father passed away, we were taking care of his kitty. Let's move this handle out of the way. Hey, sweetheart. So this little city cat is gonna be a farm cat. See how she does, huh? I think you'll be fine. She's an old cat, but we have a nice barn where she can live inside the barn with our other cat, Billy. I think she'll do just fine. It's a nice big barn with plenty of space. Huh. Nice big barn with plenty of space, indoor, outdoor. It stays pretty warm in there. It's no colder than a typical garage in the winter time. But hard thing for her is this car ride. She's a 13 year old cat, which is a pretty old cat, but she's still pretty healthy and strong. But poor thing's gonna have to make an 11 hour drive with us. We're driving all night to get home and then we will introduce her to the barn and let her be with Billy and see how they do. She's been a real trooper. She's done a good job considering she doesn't travel. Hi, huh, Addie. Madison. You're just going to ignore me. That's okay. I expect that you will be angry at me for a long time. But that's okay. That's okay. Circumstances have required that she come home with us. It's about 1 o'clock in the morning and we're getting gas. And we will take the cat right outside as soon as we get so the next time you see us, we'll be introducing her to our farm. We should be getting in at like about 6 o'clock in the morning. So it'll be daylight when we get there. We're just at a gas station and it's got really bright lights. But it's pretty dark and cold. <laughs> but we'll get in at about 6. And, uh, we're going out. <laughs> The dogs are really excited because I've been out of town, and, but they're kenneled, but they've been, they're really excited to see me. Hey, Billy. Oh, you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Hey, Billy. Come here. I've got a new friend for you. And the Addie says she's been eating. Turn up the bar a little bit. What do you think, Daddy? This is going to be quite the change. Billy's really nice, though. You should like Billy. But she might not like anyone. So. We'll see what she, how she does. Hopefully this doesn't end bad. Huh? I fed the geese so they would be quiet because they're really loud. Okay, Addie. Should we see how we do, huh? You need to come out? You need to come out? You want to be a circle pan? I'm 39. I have absolutely no idea how to circle pan. My cutie right here, Billy. Billy is the sweetest. Oh, Billy. You're just a sweetheart. Oh, Billy. Oh, farm cat. Oh, your collar got all ripped up from you. Look at your new collar. That wasn't like that when I left it. My he must have just been ripping at it. Okay. Alright. Moment of truth. Okay, Addy. Let's see how this goes. Come on, Madison. You need to come out to your new home? She might just be really pissed off for a while. We'll see. Hey, hey, hey. None of that now. Billy. None of that circle stuff. Okay. Get a little bit. 
bit of any food. Okay, more turtle. Just a little bit. Off in the in here, stuff and just see. Let's eat. Really, you're gonna come steal the kitty's food? You're gonna add stress to this moment? Oh, yep, I guess you are. <laughs> Welcome to the farm, Addison. <laughs> Addie is pretty angry. She's pretty angry. I don't know if she's gonna come out tonight or not. She'll probably come out as soon as I leave. But anyway, welcome to the farm, Addie. I think you'll either love us or you'll hate us. But it's a nice, it, it, it's a nice place. There's a lot more going on than just living at Grandpa and Grandma's house. That's for sure. But I think she'll do fine, actually. I'm just not sure if she'll like everybody. But we'll give her some time. She did just have an 11 hour car ride. And I'm sure she's not happy about that. So we'll check in on her later. All right, Addison. You can't live in this hole. Let's get you out, out here into the barn. The base of the, the base of the barn. Okay, got her out of this dusty hole. Give me the other glove. Got her out of the hole. She went in, but she couldn't get back out on her own. Oh my gosh. There we go. She couldn't get back out on her own, but she was very angry. Just want to make sure she's not injured at all. Not just pissed. Okay. No injuries. Okay. So we're gonna let her go. Don't go right back in there. Okay, go over there. She's going, Mama. Oh! No! Oh my gosh. The end. All right. She went in this hole. Go ahead and put her water there. And we're just gonna put her water here. Which she can get to on her own. Because I'm not gonna do that again. <laughs> The other one was tighter and she went in that pretty easily so she can probably get out of it too. Hey Betty. You like these little boxes, huh? Hello little kitty. My daughter saw her today out. Just running around on the farm. This is a good spot to sleep, baby girl. Those boxes are pretty big. They're probably a foot and a half deep, but it's got a really narrow entrance. Get in. There you go. Let's see if we can see you. Here she is. That's a good spot. It's upstairs in the barn. It's got some hay. It'll be a nice warm spot. But I'm really glad is that she's starting to mingle with the farm. She's starting to run around in the fields. And then she's found a good cozy spot to sleep at night. I think she's going to do a really good job here. Good girl. You have good instincts on where to sleep. And where to go and where not to go. Good job. Good night, baby girl. It'll be fun having you on the farm.